Most of the people that watch my channel, whether they're in high school or college, are students. And most students are pretty busy with their studies, but they also want to make money on the side, whether that is doing a freelance gig or a side hustle or some sort of part-time job. But the cool thing is, in the last few years, there are more online job opportunities than ever. And what's even cooler is I have tried almost all of them out myself. Ever since I've been in high school, I've done just about every freelance side hustle gig out there that you can possibly think of. And over the last few years, I have spent over $100,000 on virtual assistants, freelancers, and contractors. And many of these people were in high school or college, and I paid them to help me out. So I have a better understanding than just about anybody else out there when it comes to making money online, side hustles, side jobs, freelancing, etc. I'm actually going to share with you what the big opportunities are from the perspective of somebody who's done it themselves, and from the perspective of somebody who routinely gives money to people who do them. So with that being said, let's jump right into the first one, which is a huge opportunity that a lot of people are not doing, but it's an emerging market, and that is going to be live streaming. And specifically, we're going to be talking about live stream selling. And this is basically where you sell stuff that has to be demonstrated over live stream, right? So you can live stream on just about every social media platform, whether it's TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Twitch, or YouTube. And this is something that my girlfriend actually does. She actually live streams on Facebook and she sells clothes. And the reason she does so well with this is because there's a lot of people out there that have a similar body type to her and they wanna see how the clothes look on a real person. So she puts the clothes on, she wears them, and then a bunch of different girls will basically bid on the dress. It's almost like a live stream auction. And she makes really, really good money doing this. This is extremely lucrative. And the coolest thing is after a while, you're going to grow a brand, you're going to grow a clientele base, and then you don't even have to live stream sell anymore. And the reason for that is because people will just message you and ask you what your stocks are. So you can basically just post pictures and stuff like that. And then you don't even have to live stream demonstrate it. So this is an emerging side hustle. And there are a lot of different examples of products out there that sell much better when they are demonstrated. The next one on the list is going to be OnlyFans and specifically selling feet pics on OnlyFans. Well, I'm kind of kidding. There's actually like a lot of YouTubers that talk about this, which is actually hilarious. I mean, it's completely pathetic that there's people who actually buy this stuff, but I mean, hey, you know, don't hate the player, hate the game. But yeah, you know, you could make 50 mil a year like this girl, bad baby or whatever, or you can make six figures a month by pretending to be a dog like this girl. But with all joking aside, most people who watch this video are probably not going to do this, but you can make a lot of money as a social media influencer or somebody who helps social media influencers. So this is an emerging market. There are so many people out there that are making a ridiculous amounts of money by posting on social media. Now this could be YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, or blogs. But the thing is, is there aren't that many people out there who have these specialized skills to help these people on those different platforms. For instance, on YouTube, there is really a skill to creating thumbnails and titles. You can't just hire some random graphic designer to create thumbnails for you. It truly is a specific skill that you have to practice for a while and get really good at. And if you can get really good at helping a YouTuber create good thumbnails and titles, that is an incredibly valuable skill set. So I get it, becoming a social media influencer yourself takes a lot of time, effort, and in some cases money. There's also a lot of luck involved in it as well. But if that being said, if you can learn a valuable skill that social media influencers out there really need, then you can pretty much name your price because there's no way that a social media influencer is going to be able to scale their business or their brand unless they're able to free up their time. So for instance, over the last few years, I have hired people to help me out with things, but typically I have to train them to do it. And it's very difficult for me to just find people who are already trained, who are already really good at doing it themselves. So scale Scaling my YouTube channel, scaling my brand, my business is a very slow process because of this. So if you can learn a skill like helping a YouTuber write scripts or helping a YouTuber create thumbnails or helping a YouTuber edit YouTube videos in such a way where it's actually good for YouTube, not just editing videos in general, then that is incredibly valuable. You can make 30, 40, $50 an hour plus. Next one on the list is going to be coaching 
consulting, or tutoring. And this is basically where because of your past experience, you have specific skills in certain places. For instance, maybe you did baseball since you were five years old, or maybe you were a swimmer. Maybe you played the clarinet or the flute. Maybe you've done competitive dance since you were young. And what you can do is you can put yourself out there as somebody who is willing to be a coach. And you can actually coach people one-on-one. -on -one. And a lot of the time, for instance, parents will hire you to one-on-one -on -one coach their children on how to be a better baseball player or flute player. So this requires you to basically take an inventory of what your current skills are. So for instance, what I did specifically was tutoring and I tutored for a test called the PCAT. This is the pharmacy college admissions test. And basically I took this test in order to get into pharmacy school. I studied really hard for it and I scored well on it. But the reason I scored well is not because I'm super smart, it's because I did so much research on the best resources. And so when people found out that I scored really well on this test because I was in the pharmacy club at my college, they actually reached reached out to me and they wanted me to tutor them. And so at first I started tutoring my friends for free, then I started charging $50 an hour, then $80 an hour, and eventually I was charging over $100 an hour. Now, if you're like, Shane, I don't have any skills whatsoever. I'm not good at anything. I you know, played video games my entire childhood and I didn't learn any tangible skills. What should I do? Well, if you're listening to this video, you probably know how to speak English. So that's something that you can do online. You can tutor people on how to speak proper American or you know British English online. There's lots of people in countries like China or South Korea, etc., that want to know how to speak proper English. So you can check out websites like Cambly.com, etc. And on these websites, you can make over $15 an hour. But really, there's a lot of people who teach English, so I highly recommend that you try to find a skill that's more specific to you. Next one on the list is going to be flipping physical items. Yes, this is actually something that you can do completely online. I have done this so many different times throughout my life with so many different types of products, phones, iPods, iPads, computers, bikes, cologne, perfume, etc. Those were just a few of the things that I have flipped online. And basically you buy them from one source and then you sell them online. Sometimes you'll do this through Craigslist, eBay, OfferUp, etc. This is probably the oldest side hustle known to man. Like I think since the beginning of time, people have been doing this probably before money was even invented. So yeah, again, it's probably best here if you kind of find specific niches that you're really knowledgeable about. For instance, if you know a lot about cars, that would be a great niche to get into. But yeah, flipping items is amazing. You can make so much money from this. It's one of those things where I didn't really spend much time at all during high school and college doing it, but I was able to make really good money from it, probably somewhere between $30 to $40 an hour at least. Next one on the list is going to be social media manager. Now, this is another one of those careers that is emerging. And there's a bunch of different types of social media managers. So for instance, a brand might hire you to answer questions on Twitter or a brand might hire you to answer emails or a brand might hire you to reach out to other influencers in order to set up sponsorships. Another huge one is link building outreach. This is something that a lot of different blogs do. And this is basically where a blog will hire somebody to reach out to different brands in order to try to build links back to their blog. If you're familiar with SEO and the blog writing world, you'll know that this is like a multi-billion dollar industry. And this is actually somebody that I am personally looking to hire within the next six months to a year. The next one on the list is going to be freelance writing. So freelance writing can be un unbelievably profitable. It's not something that a lot of people are good at, but if you are good at it, it can be incredibly lucrative. So there's so many different forms of freelance writing, right? So you can be a ghostwriter for books, or you can just help YouTubers write their YouTube scripts. One of the most common forms of freelance writing is helping to write for blogs. And if you get really good at writing for blogs, not only do you make a blog that's extremely engaging, but it's also SEO friendly. That means it's search engine optimization friendly. And that basically means that the search engine is going to be able to easily find that blog, know exactly what it is, and know what types of people would probably be interested in reading that blog. That is a real skill set. And if you can get extremely good at that, you are going to make really good money. So yeah, there are freelance writers on websites like Upwork that make well over $50 an hour. There's lots of different freelance websites out there like iWriter.com, for instance, I've used them many times. And yeah, this is another one that I'm looking to hire. I'm looking to hire a freelance writer for my blog to basically help me to do the research and to help me write really good blog posts. And I'm also in the process of hiring a freelance writer for this YouTube channel to help me write scripts. And this can be especially good if you're bilingual because then you can be a translator as well. English, mother
And that's the next one on the list, which is translator. Now, depending on what type of translator you are, you can make over $30 an hour. I think I'm actually going to do an individual video on translation because it's so profitable. But if you're a specific type of translator, you can make even more money. The next one on the list is going to be affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is probably my favorite business model. And the reason for that is because it's incredibly easy to do and it's also incredibly passive. Just about every other type of business model out there requires a lot of upkeep. You have to have customer support. You have to hire out a team. You have to actually create the product and make sure that it's a really good product and service. All these different things take a tremendous amount of time, but affiliate marketing out of all the different business models I've tried is the easiest and it's the most passive. Now you might be thinking you can't do affiliate marketing because you don't have an audience, right? And that's true. Affiliate marketing is best done with an audience. But with that being said, there are ways you can do affiliate marketing and just make money from your real life. For instance, I had a friend in college who would basically make money by recommending an affiliate marketing site to people who wanted to get their textbooks for cheaper. And if you're familiar with how much textbooks are, a lot of the time they're 200, 300, 400, even $500. But if you buy the textbook from the year before, sometimes you can get it for $30 or 50. And there are websites out there where you can get an affiliate link or a referral link. And whenever one of your friends complains about how expensive the textbooks are, you can just give them that referral link. Your friend wins, you win, and the company wins. The only people that lose are the colleges that are overcharging you for the books. Now, a type of affiliate marketing is digital marketing. And this is not only one of my favorite side hustles, but it's also one of my favorite freelance gigs. And it's one of my favorite entry level jobs that you can get. Now, there are many different forms of affiliate marketing. You can do pay per click, you can do social media marketing, you can do search engine optimization, you can do email marketing, etc, etc. There are so many different types of digital marketing. And the key here is to become a specialist, someone who is very good at a specific niche. So as a freelancer, you can easily make $40 an hour or more. And if you get a entry level job in digital marketing, you typically are going to start off around 20 to $25 an hour for a full time job. Now my best recommendation for somebody who is interested in getting into digital marketing is to take my friend Seth's free masterclass on digital marketing. My friend Seth has helped literally thousands of people land jobs in digital marketing as well as become freelancers. I have an entire playlist of people that he's helped get jobs. I'll put that right here. So definitely check that out. Also comment down below your favorite ways of making money online as a freelancer or some sort of online job. Also gently tap that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and comment down below any thoughts, comments, criticisms, etc. And I will see you next time.